Hey y'all, it's Takuya here, and before things begin, I do apologize for interrupting the video. Make sure to check out the description of it, because there you can find links to join Discord as well as Twitch. I regularly stream things for Hearts of Iron and other games that Paradox creates and Total War and other things. And if you want to play these games with me, then please do check out, well, the links in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and I cannot believe that I promised this, but today we are not doing any of these. Yeah, every single nation that you see on here has, well... A focus tree. But today I wanted to get really spicy, so let's go ahead and avoid Europe, and instead go to where the spices come from! The East! Except not any of these, no! No, we're gonna hide. We're gonna hide in the mountains. We're, t we're playing Afghanistan. Genuinely, I'm not even sure how I should really feel about this, but you know what? Okay. And let's, uh... Let's do this now, shall we? Now, believe it or not, in comparison to the other Middle Eastern states, Afghanistan actually has one really significant advantage. That is... They have a large army, or at least large by the perspective, I guess, of the Middle East here. Like, it's not big, but it's more than its neighbor Iran, and it's something that we can build up quite significantly. Which is about as well as can be expected when you have the generic focus tree that offers shit to do. Anyway, political effort. Get things started here. But then our country is so mountainous that we can't even worry about invading armies. We can't feed ourselves in it in the first place. We have no railroads. We have a supply hub. We have no railroad. That means for our invasion, none of it matters. We're just going to pull these guys back. There's actually two other advantages that Afghanistan does have, though, and we will get that. The first off is a really good general. And the second thing is, somehow, we have an infantry genius that is going to give us an additional 15% attack and 20% defense for our infantry. So we actually have something here. We only had two research slots, so we need to go ahead and get at least some basic guns, and simultaneously we need to get some, you know, better production going here. Because, uh, we, uh, we, we don't exactly have much of an industry here. Now, who said the roads in Afghanistan were not easy to travel? And at this point, we just... Don't do anything, really. We, we literally can't do anything. Just gotta sit here and wait for all these focuses to complete. And like many countries that are in terrible positions, we are gonna go communist. And now the thing that's really strong about this path is that it actually will give us at least a good 350, no, 550 political power that we get to spend. So yes, you gotta make a beeline down here because we're gonna start pumping out advisors. Namely one of these so we can get some actual army experience going. Germany proposed that we join the Comintern Pack. Uh, no, that's, that's not gonna help us here. Or at least you wouldn't think, but in case we betray the Soviets, might actually be good to join. And now you can see it's not even 1937 and we have our military fully decked out here for army experts. We are gonna be cranking out the army experience at a rapid pace every day. But now that that's done, we can actually focus on getting ourselves an industry going in the first place. Discredit the government, because as though Afghanistan has some credit in the first place. Now the big thing that we're gonna need is the ability to produce lots of guns. Lots of guns very fast, so it's time to focus on getting some military factories out. But hey, Turkey is gonna offer us a non-aggression pact, which I mean, we're eventually probably gonna betray, but at least in this way it's gonna give us some political power, so sure. Because now we can use that to update our conscription law. Soldiers desert to communist partisans. Well, that's actually fine, because that means that is now going to put us at the level where we can just go ahead and hold a referendum. Boom! We are now communist. Awesome. Wait, that is not normally something one would say. But damn, look at that guy's care. Lots of it. Like, damn, look at those brows. I can relate. But now because we're communist, that means we can immediately begin to justify a war goal on Iran. So let's do it. Come on, let's see if, um, let's see if you'll fall to me pretty quick. Now, for whatever reason, I forgot that the militia and the Royal Guard are simultaneously infantry and cavalry, which this... This is terrible. This does literally nothing, because the cavalry is just all around weaker. It... it like, if it was pure cavalry, at least it would have speed, but no, this is pointless. Convert it to infantry, use less equipment, that in turn will help us a hell of a lot more. In addition, we're gonna get a little cavalry regiment that I'm gonna like to call... Speed. And now that we're actually in the positive on guns, we can start to produce a number of these. And honestly, we should go down superior firepower because we're going to need as many points and attack and everything as we possibly can because we're, uh, we're, we're going to be hurting. And now that we got our justification, it's time to let the fun begin. And by fun, I mean just let them conquer all of our provinces right up until the very edge of our capital. And now that they're moving up close, it's time to try and see if we can test their defenses here. Yep, they're moving all their guys in. Okay, they're going to be running very low on supplies. If we can actually stop them here, we might be able to trap a whole group of them. 
See, these are what I like to call little stupid snake maneuvers. Sorry, now we have a whole other block of units that are trapped in this godforsaken hellhole. God, just the slow grind through the Afghanistan mountains, you know? If <laughs> this ain't topical for anything, I don't know what is. Oh, Lord. Like 10,000 on our side, 58k on theirs. I think that destroyed them. They have no way to really counter it now. We just gotta snake our way around to the capital and take everything we can. And eventually Iran will fall. Though by the end, we destroyed so many of their units that we didn't really get anything valuable. Time to take everything. And holy crap, we are behind on guns. Uh, we might need to delete all these speedy boys that we had here. Just for the sake of getting some guns back. But hey, now that that's done, we can start biding our time and waiting before we can declare on Iraq. Now it's time for Afghani Space Marines, or at least the preparation. If you all don't know exactly what I'm doing here, please go ahead and watch the Poland video. Pause this video, go back, watch the Poland video, then come back to me. And now let's go ahead and increase our army ability. Because we actually cannot justify on Iraq until 1939 when everything kind of goes to hell in a handbasket. Courtesy of the angry mustache boy. And now that that tank is done, we can start prepping some additional work here. Nah, nah, I can't do anything until I get welded armor, at least. Ah, well this is an interesting one. Poland has war goals against Poland. They can take Poland. I haven't seen that before. And now everyone, you know what time it is. It's time to make the brick. And now the brick in all of its glory exists here with an armor rating of 56 that allows us to just take everything. <laughs> We now create a duplicate of our militia force called the Brick Boys, and then every so often, once we get enough bricks, we can just go ahead and add them on here into the combat with the Brick Boys. Now, the Brick Boys, simply by adding this, are going to get 20 additional armor. Well, Poland has refused, which means it's time for the fun to begin. Yep, German goes after Poland. That allows us to now pause and immediately start declaring on Iraq. Well, not declare, justify. But now we can do it exponentially quicker, and simultaneously, this will allow us to, um, to take things over. And at the same time, because we have the ability to, why not also just justify over here on Niched? For Saudi Arabia. And now we've barely done anything for war, but we've been able to at least flush out these doctrines because of how much army experience we're producing. Ah, Poland doesn't seem to be doing too well. Now at this point in time, it's probably a smart idea to go ahead and join the Soviets, just so that we can at least get a backer and not have anyone declare on us. Soviet Union, you're seriously trying to call the Afghanis into a war with the Finnish. No, I think that we're kind of on polar opposites in terms of uh, environmental aspects. All right. And we are now justified to declare on Iraq. We better move quick because we only got 35 days until we've justified on Saudi Arabia too. But with our bricks, we just can't be stopped. And Iraq is gone, okay. That means we can take all states, finish that, and immediately move down here to declare on the Saudis. We're kind of rushing into a position, but it's okay. Because anything that they're trying to do in the desert is just not going to be able to stop us. They're on their own borders, and they just can't, they can't resist. We're just rolling right through them. Saudi Arabia, gone. And just like that, Afghanistan is looking very thick. It's like, if you're in the Middle East and you have tanks, there's basically no one that can stop you. Also, in the meantime, Soviets, while well, you've been very friendly, I'm thinking that at some point... You're not going to be of much help to go after the United Kingdom. I might want to start thinking about something, um, a little bit different. Well, I'm on. It is time to say goodbye. And Yemen about to be no more. Sorry about this, bud, but I kind of want your stuff. And they're wiped. And now that means the border is looking significantly cleaner. The only problem is now the British are still involved. All right, and now Germany is going and having its little fun over here. Which, wait, wait a goddamn minute. The Soviets are still trying to influence us and turn us back to communism. Nope, at this point, we just gotta let things kinda try to run their course and see what we can do to potentially help the Germans. Well, at least after a while, we're still able to hold the referendum. The fascists are now in charge, and now instead of the communist regime, we have the new Afghan Khanate. But we... Wait. Hold on. Is that... Is that just the fascist twin of the guy who was in charge before? Now we go ahead and join the Germans. Wait for them to call us into a war. Well, and all right, now we're at war with the Soviets then. But they have zero troops on our border. <laughs> and the funny thing is, this is where the majority of the Soviets oil is coming from. So if we're just able to secure this right here, we will slowly begin to starve the Soviets. Now before the Soviets realize what's happening, we really need to get a road built in here fast. <laughs> oh, and here's the Soviets. They're trying to cut me off. 
All right, and here is where a lot of the bullshit micro is going to be happening. All right, they know that they're running out of oil, so they're going to try and break through here as much as they can. Wait, are the Soviets trying to invade over here? Well, shit, I did not expect that, but okay, good on you, I guess. God damn, and they are just throwing themselves at me over and over again. Like, at this point, they're not going to break through me, so I can just spend my time wearing them down as much as I can. Destroy their equipment, harass them as much as I can, just try and kill as many of them as we can here. Actually, I say that and realize that we are running dangerously low on manpower. Okay, uh... Well, everyone's gotta serve, boys. Yep, because they're gonna throw themselves at us. Which, I mean, hey, look at that. We managed to seize the overwhelming majority of the Soviet oil supply now. Which, actually, that is causing the Germans to have to buy a lot of it. Well, it's okay. We can just let the Soviets continuously crash themselves against us in a massive red wave. We may have lost 19,000 men, but uh, simultaneously we're responsible for 172,000 of the enemy. I mean, without much oil, this means that they are not going to be able to maintain an air force, which means that the Soviets, uh, the Soviets are probably in trouble now. Oh, wow, the Romanians are heavily moving down here. Uh, we might actually be able to do a little bit of a sweeping maneuver down here. Ooh, they are spreading in there. Okay, we are right outside of Moscow. And they're just throwing themselves at my line further. This is not exactly what I would call the most riveting gameplay, but you know what? It's fine. We can just wipe out these units one at a time, gradually weaken them, cut them off. And as their lines soften, we are just finding more ways to bleed them out as much as we possibly can. Just wipe out little pocket after pocket as much as we can, slogging through the mountains trying to break through this goddamn bullshit. Luckily, the Allies have not declared war on me yet. I love my crowing through the Soviet Union, because that is precisely how this game was designed to be played. Just see if it makes any kind of difference here. Oh, wait, hold on, hitting that... Wait, that's a lot of green. Huh. Well, let's see if it does anything. Are they start Genu- Really? They're invading northwestern Germany like that. Oh, okay. Um, please, for the love of God, Germans, fight them off, because I, I do not want to have to deal with the Soviets on my own here. Uh-oh, I think I accepted the call to arms. That would explain why India is trying to invade my provinces right now. Fuck. Then there we go. God damn it. Finally, the Soviets collapsed. Well, god damn it, that is really, really ugly. But hey, look, we got a bunch of new little puppets in here, so that's nice. Now, all of a sudden, look, look at this massive bullshit amount of forces coming in. And honestly, they are looking so good down here. Let's just go ahead and push. We can take, we can take all of India at this point. Let's go. Oh, no, are they taking back Ireland? Yeah, they're taking back Ireland. The Italians are fighting everyone else in Ireland. Oh, boy. The United States is called Turkey, is there any- Wait a damn minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We had a truce, you bastards. Communist China has capitulated. Oh, boy. Wow, yeah. Japan doesn't really have much to worry about from this side now. Huh. That is, uh, it's looking pretty extensive. Just one after the other, wipe them out as many as we can. And that is a really big encirclement right there, all right. Well, all I know, that is that is many, many thousands of men that are currently dying. And that is more units encircled, all right. We're just gonna clean the British out of Africa. You know, at this point, it's like a snowball that is running down the hill in a hot desert. It's just melting, everything is on fire, and also, we are just creaming them repeatedly. I genuinely don't think they have any units down there, so let's just go ahead and set a line and let them go. This is a really fat stack and I want it. That is gonna be a really big hit that is gonna be hard to recover from. I cannot believe that I, as Afghanistan, am genuinely trying to compete in terms of naval supremacy with the English. In the English Channel. Fall of Rome. Wait a goddamn minute. No! Italy, for Christ's sake, does Afghanistan have to do everything here? This whole time, we've just... Oh, God. At least the pilots are finally goddamn doing something. Oh, my God. That is... That is, that is a lot more than I had anticipated. Uh, wow, I probably should not even try to build a bunch of ships. I probably should have just tried to spam out as many 
fucking naval bombers in close air support as I could. Oh god, and now France just got nuked. Holy shit, wait, we finally have superiority. Hold on, hold on, boy. Quick, we are not going to have another chance at this again. Let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. There we go, we finally made it. We finally goddamn made it. London has fallen. Alright, finally, goddammit, the UK is gone. It is 1947. We are still stuck and not moving in Africa. Japan, could you... Could you could you please do something? Could you knock out the Australians? Could you please... Please do something. Oh, hey, I sunk the HMS hood. Alright, so now first plan, we gotta launch an invasion here into Denmark, and then we can go after the United States. Yay. I'm gonna bring all of my men to like the very tip of France, and we're, we're just going. The Afghanis are coming to America, boys. God, it takes forever, I just need to control Greenland, but I can't do anything here yet. And of course, we don't have naval superiority here. Oh my god, finally, finally, it took two years, but we finally have naval supremacy here. Okay, please, now, before we lose anything, let's go. And now we just slowly, tediously, make our way through the Canadian wilderness. Every single bit of this is awful. Oh god, and now all the Axis troops are flooding in. Alright, let's just go ahead and charge. Just, just send them. Just, just go. The Axis can watch the other side where Canada still is, and in the meantime, we can focus on trying to clear out the United States. Oh wow, I did not realize how few units they have. Wait, where are the- where's their army? Is it- oh. Oh dear god, what the f- Huh. That's- that's a lot of troops. 19 goddamn 49. And finally, Washington, D.C. is gone. Okay. God, the U.S. still wants to go- They've lost 10 million! Holy crap! God damn! Um, 3 million alone to Italy. That's... That's genuinely impressive. Okay. Wow, Italy. I think it's time for a final bullshit push through all this. Come on. Come on, we're so goddamn close. <laughs> this is just fucking awful. <laughs> I hate this. I literally haven't sat here for just like, I'm just watching it happen. I'm literally just sitting here for the last hour or two, or I don't have no idea how much time has passed here, and just watching the map slowly get painted while millions upon millions of men die. Oh my god. August of 1949, it is finally goddamn over. Honestly, I don't, I, I'm t I don't even want any of this. I literally don't want any of this. I'm just- I'm just done. Let- let- let them do whatever the hell they want. Despite all that, we still cannot form the Persian Empire because we do not own Italy, and we also do not own the Dodecanese Islands that they have up here. Everyone, I am done. Here's the new Afghan Khanate, aka the Persian Empire. Screw it, I'm calling it the Persian Empire, it doesn't matter, this is literally the Persian Empire. Everyone, this has been a Hoi 4 playthrough, and this was the longest one that I've ever done. Uh, I... I'm not doing that again. Holy shit, that was bad. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go pass out, because Afghanistan, the death of empires, has been the death of me. Please make sure to check out Twitch, Discord, everything below in the description here if you want to play Hoi 4 and other games like that here with me. And besides that, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. I am... Excuse me, guys, I, I need to go pass out now. Bye.